Well, all right, y'all, here we go. We got the Nocta double score today. Yes, do not adjust your television screens. We are busting out the double score. We're gonna hunt around the side of this baseball field. Normally when I come to this park, I hit the tot lot, or hit by the splash pad. Well, I got me a 42 right there. Sounds interesting. Let's see what we got here. I think it may be just a little, a little bit too deep for the pinpointer. Let's see what we got here. Should be right about yonder. Uh, it feels so nice to be able to stick my shovel in the ground to an extent. I don't expect a whole lot out of this target. Expected it to be a penny, but I'll take it. Got a 41-42 right in the bottom of the plug, right where it's supposed to be. And there she goes, baby. First target of the day is a shield penny. I'll take it though. Been a while since I played with the old double score. I'm glad to know that a penny still sounds like a penny. This is actually, I think, the first hunt I've done with the double score. since I've done the update on it. I'm wrapped by the parking areas. There's a lot of trash. Got a 48.50 right there. Normally I would think that is a quarter, but there's a lot of trash around it. Uh, I don't even know if I can get to it there. Now it's reading 53.50. Four. Whatever it is, it should be right around yonder. There she goes. It is the old quarter. When I say old, it's an eagle backer, so. Oh. Huh. I'm trying to get a date off of it, but don't want to cooperate. It doesn't matter. It's orange, so it's just a clad quarter, but hey, I'll take it, baby. It sounded good, just like it should. Okay. Got a 41 right there. Sounds like another coin, but there's a bunch of trash around it. That's one thing I love about the double score. It is good at separating out a good target from the bad. Okay, I still got a nice 41 in the plug. Should be a coin, I would think. Right there, and there she is.
Just another Zink and Lincoln, but we'll take it, baby. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll tell you, with all the weather changing, hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold. The, my sinuses have been fighting with me. I haven't hunted in this area in quite a while. Should be right here. The ground's nice and soft right here too. That should get it. That should have got it. 41, the bottom of the plug, baby. Come on. Show me something good. There we go. It's a coin. I don't think it's anything special. Memorial Penny. Good old Memorial Penny. I'll take it though, baby. Nothing wrong with the old Memorial Penny. See, we're right outside of left field, and there's a, also a, a I got a real iffy signal right there. Probably a bottle cap, maybe a ring pool, depending on which numbers there you believe. <laughs> Let's find out what it is, baby. Yeah, it sounds like pure iron now. Should be right around in yonder. What is that? Ring pull is max, mister. We got a beave on it? No, the beave has already left. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What the heck is that? That is not a ring pull. Is that a key ring or some kind of jewelry? Dude, I don't even freaking know. It's got a little latch. It's bent so it doesn't work, but it's got a latch. I think it's some kind of key ring. We'll put it in the old pockaroonie. That was kind of neat though. That was different. That's what I detect for is to dig different stuff. And that was pretty different for sure. <laughs> All right, uh oh. That's a solid 45, 46. Should be just about on top right here. Should be right there. Let's do the old whoop-de-woo here. There was something big under there. What is that? 
What is it? Uh oh. You know what we found? That's half of a a bud grinder. It's got the old marijuana leaf on this side. Where's the other half of it? Look. That was the the weed leaf that was on there. Dang it, where's the other half? Brings up a perfect 46. I need the other half of the grinder, y'all. Not that <laughs> not that I <laughs> grind up anything. Uh, maybe one day if they ever legalize it here, I might. But uh, what the heck, y'all? I found half of a bud grinder. Where's the other half? It's like when you find the pendant of a broken chain, but you can't find the rest of the chain. <laughs> Nah, we'll leave that alone. Well, we're definitely having fun over here, finding some interesting different stuff. A couple coins, a bud grinder, a weird keychain. I'm telling you, man, this double score is one hell of a little machine. Uh, if y'all saw the little beach hunts I did the other day, I really wanted to bring the double score with me, but the travel bag I used only, only holds two detectors with two extra coils. That's like the max I can fit in it. So I settled on the triple score and the legend. What is that? Uh, Can Slawis Maximus. Kind of what you expected with those numbers, but could have been a nice little gold ring number or something. I'm right under these power lines here, so I'm starting to get a little EMI, but that's okay. Got a solid 1415, should be just barely under the ground right there. Probably some more foil, but would be a good jewelry number, so we had to hit it. There it is. It is the old foil or cancelaw or some kind of junkity junk. It's funny, the double score talking to me when I got it set down. When I pick it up and swing it, it doesn't really talk to me. Huh. Got a 31 right there. I think it's a little either a little deeper or I missed it, but it's not sounding good now. Okay, should be Right in there, I see it. I sainted it. Another ring pull. Well, it's, I guess the first ring pull, the, the first ring pull I thought I found wasn't a ring pull. <laughs> Can't believe I found that grinder. That was kind of cool.
Too bad I couldn't find the other half. I could send it to one of my buddies in Colorado. Let them use it. <laughs> I got a solid 50-51. You would think it was a quarter, but it kind of had a little bit of knock on it. So it wouldn't surprise me if it was like a bottle cap or something. But there's so much trash here and there's something hard underneath here. I think I see it. Uh, what the heck is that, y'all? Huh. Some kind of hinge door for something. Probably like some of the equipment they use out here. Like a lawnmower or something. I had a feeling that wasn't going to be a quarter. It sounded a little too la uh, large and it had that knock in it. Well, I hope I'm happy here at this park. Because there's a train and I won't be leaving for a while. <laughs> you know what here? Let's do the old frequency shift because we're wrapped by these major power lines over here. And they starting to bark at me. I did have a buddy of mine that told me he uh, hunted this uh, easeway for the power lines and racked up a bunch of clad. It was a 3132, but it bounced down to a six, so. So I don't know what to think about it. Here's a pretty grub worm. Whatever it is, sounds like it's over here, so. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah. There's no trash cans by where I'm at. I had a feeling that wasn't going to be what I wanted. I guess... Where's the nearest barrel? Oh gosh. I'm gonna just throw it up on the concrete over there and I'll pick it up on my way back. There's a 42-43, but it's also got a thump in it. So it very well could be some Whatever it is, it's right there. And it doesn't sound good. Okay, it's a lot deeper than I thought it was gonna be. And it is some can slaw. Just some can slaw. Can't believe I haven't stirred up that at my at
ant mound yet. Oh no, <laughs> the train has stopped on the tracks. Here's a 4647, sounds kind of deep. That would be a good deep dime number or a weedy. It'd also be a good also be a good trash number. <laughs> and it sounded more like trash now. Yes, garbage. I hit the edge of it. There we go. No Coca Cola can. Thought that number sounded a little too high to be any good. Thought it sounded a little too high to be anything good. So, how's everybody doing today? Y'all having a fun day? Ugh. It's a 43, but it shows it's real shallow. Well, the pinpointer acts like it might be shallow too. But I don't think so. I think it's something bigger than I want. Yep. It's the end of a pop top can, the end of a soda can, not what we wanted, but it's what we got. Boy, is this the land of trash or what? It's just boom, 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 boom. sounds like a dadgum machine gun over here. We're gonna keep on going, see what we can find, y'all. Sounds like it should be a dime right there. Could very well be a silver ring next to this little practice facility. I'm not sure if this is like a a little dugout for the pitchers or what this is. Okay, I still got a 46-45 in the plug. Be a great number for a silver ring. Should be right there. Come on, baby. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's an old Damaruni. Oh, it's an older one. It's a 1967. Maybe that means I might be able to find some silver or some weenies over here.
I'll tell you that machine don't like being set down next to these power lines. <laughs> Uh, 41 42 right there maybe that's that weedy maybe that's a weedy should be right about there should be right in the plug hold on 41 right at the bottom of the plug that's kind of what we're looking for No, no, it's the clearly Canadian pop top. <laughs> oh, I don't want to put it there. No, those aluminum pop tops sound so daggum good. I used to love those clearly Canadian bottles. I used to play slide guitar with them back when I thought I knew how to play guitar. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be anything good. It's a 45. Could be a dime or a piece of silver. It's got kind of a thump in it. Kind of makes me think it's going to be a screw top or something stupid. I'm not even sure if I got it. Oh no. Told y'all it's gonna be something stupid. That is a very weird looking can. Got a bunch of print around the top. I don't know what that means. No one knows what it means, but it's provocative. It gets the people going. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. No, it doesn't. Well, it might. Yeah, I guess it might. <laughs> All right. Nah, I'm going to leave that alone. It was a 13. It sounded kind of interesting, but there's just way too much thump and growl and grunt. For me to think it could be anything good. Yeah, it must be some kind of pitching thing because I think this is the pitcher's mound right here. Somebody up here pitching with their gold ring and lost it. <laughs> Ugh. No. When you hear that thumping with your high tone, leave it alone, man. Leave it alone. Hold on, let me scoop my, my digger over, 
I keep saying I'm going to put something on that belt so it doesn't slide over so far and I keep forgetting. Man, that sounds nice. A 46 in between all those thumps. Sounds like it'd be a deeper dime. Maybe a deep silver ring, that'd be nice. I haven't found a nice ring in a while. Okay, it should be in the plug. Let's see what we got here. Come on, baby. Show me something good. Well, looks like the old Dimeruni. Looks like it's been there a while, though. I think that says 1985. Ha -ha. Now that signal was right next to the concrete under all these thumps and flips and barks and everything else. I think that's a pretty good little show in there for the double score. to show that it could dig something good out of the trash. That's one thing, the unmasking on this machine uh, definitely ranks up there with the big boys for a little cheap, uh, well, I'm not gonna say cheap, but uh, a more entry level detector. <laughs> I swung over that big old ant pile like I was going to dig in it. It would have had to been a pretty signal for me to dig in that sucker. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't see anybody at the tot lot. I wanted to hunt a little bit longer with the double score than I was to go to my truck and get a bottle of water and either get the legend or the triple score. And once I do that, I was going to move somewhere else. And if that Todd lots open, you know I'm going to hit it. Oh, there's a 44 right there. There's a bunch of trash in the area, so I don't know that it's going to be anything good. And the dirt right here is that red sticky clay and it's all over my shovel. Oh, man. I'm not sure if I got it or not. If I got it, it should be right on here. Did I miss it? Or is it? That's so hard to. I 
Okay, see that's the junky signal. That's not the one I'm looking for. Should be a signal right there. There it is. It's a memorial penny. Looks like it could be an older one. It's got a bunch of green on it. it. Makes me think it's copper. I love finding the green old coins. Come on, baby. 1980. Not exactly what I was hoping for, but I'll take it. I'll definitely take it next to that rusty nail and all that other crap. Put the old 230 on it. Then give it the old whoop de woo. There's a 42. Hopefully that got it right there. Uh oh. Okay, whatever it is, it's in this pile here. No! No! It's one of those aluminum old school Dr. Pepper twist tops. I don't want to put that in the fines pouch. I want to put it in the trash pouch. Thank goodness there's a garbage can right there. These cans are killing me. Man. That was definitely it. That was definitely it, baby. Here, let's get rid of some of this garbage here. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Get rid of that big old thing. Get rid of some more of this junk. Oh no! The other day I dumped my bag out and I dumped it, oh it's a, I dumped it in a bucket at my house, okay. The lucky golf ball is no longer in my bag y'all. <laughs> so 45 it sounds deep I don't have a whole lot of faith in it. It's probably a deep can, but I'm right here next to the trash can, so it's not a big deal if it is. Okay. Still sounding suspect, but sounds interesting. There we go. Well, it is an old copper penny. Was that 1978, baby? I'll take that. So much trash here, it sounded kind of sketchy, but 
Hey. It sounded good enough that I wanted to dig it. There's a 15 right there. Just a foil seal. <laughs> and those 15s will be just perfect little gold ring numbers though, so you gotta dig them suckers. You got a 4142, sounds like it's ultra shallow, like on top of the ground shallow. Should be right there. And there she is, the old screw top. Bud lights. My old poison. I used to love the Bud lights. I don't even drink beer anymore. If I do want to drink, it's normally their whiskey or tequila. But that's normally on some special occasions. Nah. Well, all right, y'all. We've been on this hunt for some time now. I think I'm going to... Uh oh that sounds lovely it's got a little bit of thump in it so it could be a twist top but it sounds nice whatever it is it's right yeah I think it's gonna be a twist top something rusty down there uh oh I don't think this is my signal Yep, the old uh, Michelob Ultra Twist Top. About what I thought. I think there's something else rusty down there. We ain't gonna mess with that today. We're just gonna hunt back around this little uh, sidewalk. Oh gosh, here comes a hot chick jogging this way. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that, baby. We're just gonna hunt along the edge of this little walking path back towards the truck. Then we're gonna Well, I got me a nice high tone right there. A lot of thump in it and there's something hard in the ground right there so I got a feeling well sounds about right let's see if we can get the quarter out of there we thought we were going to Okay, should be right there. That should have got it. Damn. No? Whatever it is, 
Should be right there. I don't think that quite got it, did it? Uh oh. It's not looking good for the home team here. Had it been a quarter, I would have found it by now. It is not a quarter. It is some kind of cheap cologne. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think that one sounded right. Had to check it out though, it's kind of cool. Something different. See, I always thought walking down this little pathway, hold on. In case y'all are wondering why I'm seeing so chatty, there's the major power infrastructure for the city. <laughs> That's interesting. It's a 50, but it's another iffy 50. But kind of hard for any signal around here not to be iffy. So I got a little more faith in this one than the last one. I think I might actually have a quarter this time. Should be right there in a the plug. Uh oh. So for one I missed it which I don't like. It was literally just right there. Hey, hey, it is a quarter Rooney. Another quarter in the pocket, baby. We having fun today. We found almost jewelry. We found some coins. We found some junk. We got pretty girls jogging by us on the <laughs> trail here. Life is good, baby. Life is good. Huh. It's a deep high 40s, like 45, 46. Very possibly can slaw, but very possibly a deep dine, deep silver ring, deep weedy, deep something. I think it's still in the hole. I can barely hear a chirp in there. There she is. Well, it was a deep coin. I think this is 1960 something, 66. Let's see, almost seven inches deep and I've only got my sensitivity on five. All these people trying to 
get extra depth out there machines here i am trying to tone them down <laughs> to hit fresh drops and i'm still hitting seven inch coins got the recovery speed on three see i always think one of these hot little baby mamas out here jogging on their lunch break trying to keep their little girlish figure would be dropping all the jewelry running around this circle here need to find a big old fat silver ring is what I need to find that'll make me happy 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 well I got a solid 50 right in the bottom of that plug Sun's about to pop up right there. There she goes, baby. Another Eagle Back Quarter 1997, baby. I will take that every day of the week. I think I'm probably the only one crazy enough to detect over here next to all this EMI, except for my buddy. He told me he cleared up, what did he say, 30 or $60 in clad, just hitting this right away. Which I believe it, because that's something... Well, I think we had a coin spill, because I think right here next to that plug where I found the quarter should be a dime I don't know you think I got it y'all think I got that dime I think my pinpoint might have been a little off what do you think <laughs> I mean it was dead on that reminds me when my dad was still alive and I was just getting into metal detecting seriously. I've been detecting with the little whites, coin master, the little cheap on the one that only didn't even have BDI on it, you know, it just had like a little arrow indicator. And uh, I got my first high dollar metal detector. I ordered an MX Sport and it came in. By this time I had sold my house and I moved back over to my folks house to keep an eye on them. Uh, 44 45 real shallow um so i'd move back over there to take care of them because my dad's getting where he couldn't drive at night and my mom she's been crippled up with the arthritis since i was a kid so they needed a little extra help so i was trying to help them out uh, that's what i thought if it's under there it's no good that's it that is it. A freaking blob of nothingness. Garbage. Well, anyway, I had ordered my White's MX Sport. And it came in and I put it all together and I had it with my detecting bag by the back door because I was going to head out first thing in the morning and try it out. And my dad walked by. This is before I ever knew that he was interested in metal detecting at all. He just uh, was looking at my detector. He said, well, aren't you going to try it? I'm like, well, I didn't figure you're going to be digging holes in your yard. And he's like, well, when you did metal detect, you're supposed to put your holes back where no one can see them, right? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, well, as long as you can fill your plugs, go for it. So I said, well, hand me the MX Sport. I was in my socks and my slippers. <laughs> I'd already got ready for bed, you know. So I go outside in my pajamas and I 
swing the MX port and I get a beep right off the patio Ugh. And I told him well there's a six inch penny right there that's way too big and he was like well prove it so well hand me my bag it's right next to you and I flipped the plug up and the penny I kid you not was sitting at the bottom of the plug I felt like a professional right now I'm a professional garbage picker upper <laughs> And he was just like, wow, it really was there. It wasn't until years later after he passed, I was going through his old Rolodex looking for our air conditioner tech that we use. Because <clears throat> my drain lines were clogged all up. So I wanted to call our air conditioning tech out to flush the lines. And... What do I find in his Rolodex? A number for White's Electronics he wrote down back in the early 80s. <laughs> Started talking to my mom. Apparently he used to metal detect with a guy from our church. Really makes me wish I didn't get wait so long to get into metal detecting because if I got into metal detecting in, in my early years Well, at least that sounds smaller. It might be a crushed twist top, but I don't think it's going to be a crushed can this time. Ah! Should be right there. Well, didn't quite get down deep enough, did I? That's okay. So it's not that I didn't get deep enough, I just missed it by about an inch. There it is. Another old dime been there. Wow. I'm doing pretty good on the cloud today. Got several quarters and dimes. Don't even really have that many pennies. I was really hoping I'd find a little piece of jewelry out here, but not yet huh maybe that's my next hole nah All right, y'all, I think we're down to one last target. Then I'm gonna call this the little hunt.
Well, it says it's a three or four inch 50, which should be a quarter. Could be something fun, could be some junk. Stay. Okay, I think I at least got it in the plug. Okay, so there it is. It is a heavily mower modified quarter. I would cry if this was a W quarter. No, I think it's a D, but it is. It's the Guam War one. Well, all right, y'all. Hope y'all, well y'all, my battery's dying, so I hope y'all enjoyed this hunt. Happy hunting, and stay dirty, my friends. Yes, sir.